This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined in Liverpool Street with Spencer Oliver. It's an AJ Fight Week. They're always massive. Mate, how are we doing? I'm really good, mate. Love AJ Fight Weeks. I'm glad we still got it on, if I'm totally honest. Um, credit where credit's due to Matchroom for you know keeping the show alive, dealing with the situation. They dealt with it and um, finding Robert Hellanius. So, yeah, I, I think that's a great opponent, by the way. So, um, for AJ's rebuilding process, I think that stylistically it works well. And, um, yeah, I'm pleased. I'm pleased we still got the show on. Well, we'll start on that. We'll start on... It was meant to be for Anthony Joshua versus Dillian White. Yeah. Saturday morning came through, the event's been cancelled. As soon as the adverse finding came in, Matram pulled the show straight away. Your initial thoughts when you heard that? I was pleased, mate. Really, really, really pleased. I think they've learned from their mistakes of the Conor Ben situation and the way that that was dealt with and, you know, the way that that was prolonged, the cancellation. I think it caused, you know, caused, caused problems. And um, I think Eddie, Eddie openly admitted, actually, that, you know, maybe they didn't deal with it in the best manner. And they've learned from that and they've dealt with it this the way that they dealt with it. You know, Dillian White, um, there was an adverse finding and they cancelled the show straight away. And so they should have. I mean, great. I mean... Stupid from Dillian, I've got to say, mate, that was a, like, look, I can't comment. All I can say is I'm disappointed, massively disappointed. I can't go any stronger than that at the moment because we don't know what he's failed the test for. So until we find out that, until we find out that, which is confidential at the moment, until we find those those reasons out, then we can't really comment no more. But just saying disappointed, mate, you know, with Dillian, the situation, twilight of his career, opportunity, stupid. Yeah, I'm just going to move this little bit back. Did you get that though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I got that all good, yeah. So going into that, you said that it was stupid from Dillian and it's, you know, another adverse finding, but this isn't the first time that we've having these conversations about Dillian White. So with that being said, does their concerns then raise from, from the outside looking in? Of course there is. Of course there's concerns, mate, you know, because it's not like you say, it's not the first time, it's not the second time. Do you know what I mean? It's like the third time. So, yep, all right, he's proved his innocence on the others. Let's see what happens with this, with this situation. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, you know, I just, I just think it's fucking dumb, if I'm honest. Do you know what I mean? With, in light of what's going on, um, you know, with that whole Conor Ben fiasco and everything that was around that and what's still going on with that, why would you do something so stupid? Like I say, with an opp opportunity like this in the twilight, is what's he got left, Dillian White? Probably 12 months of his career left and you're getting a massive payday and you go and fuck it, basically. And I just think it's absolutely ridiculous and stupid. And, you know, it is what it is. All I'm saying is I'm just pleased that Matchroom found Robert Hellanius. I mean, that was a genius move, stylistically. Do you know what I mean? Because I think that he will take the fight to AJ. What we need to see from AJ is we need to see him putting them shots together again. We need to see those combination punches. We need to see that explosiveness that's been missing. We didn't see that with Franklin, but I believe we'll see it on Saturday night. AJ's just got to get his head around this whole change of opponent. Do you know what I mean? We saw that last time when Baby Miller failed the test and um, Ruiz stepped in. I think AJ would have learned from that. He's got a lot of experience as an amateur and as a pro about, you know, more so as an amateur when you're finding out opponents last minute, etc., etc. So now, I think the problem with him is he's been training for Dillian White in that style and he knows Dillian's style. But Hellanius will take the fight to him probably like Dillian would because he don't run Hellanius. He's one of those guys that takes a fight to you. So all he's got to do is just let those hands go. So look, out of a bad situation, we've, we, we've got a show still alive and, uh, yeah, credit to Matchroom for doing that. 100%. And do you think, like, how much will this affect AJ mentally, do you think, having to deal with this opponent, his opponent found a drug test so quick to the fight? It must be sort of a big mental hurdle to, to jump over. Listen, AJ wanted that Dillian White fight, which was a massively dangerous fight, considering, like, his styles make fights and Dillian's always called AJ problems. AJ was the one that was demanding that fight. I think he wanted to test himself, see where he was at in his career, see exactly what he had left going before going into this big fight with Deontay Wilder and, and possibly Tyson Fury in the future. So he's he's pissed off. He's like dis massively disappointed, but he's put in a lot of hard work. You know what I mean? He took himself off to Dallas. He's working with Derek James out there and they've been working hard for the last 12 weeks or so. So I understand that he still wants the show to go on. So I just think he'll be pissed off with the Dillian White situation, but he's got to delete that from his brain and now focus on Robert Hellanius because potential banana skin, he don't want any slip-ups. And I did, like I say, I just think it's a, it's a perfect opponent stylistically for him to showcase his skills and what he's been learning over in the States. 100%. We'll talk about Robert Hellanius as an opponent. Um, come in four and eight round the last week. Yep. Um, back in now. So you think he's going to be he's going to be fresh and ready. He's just had a fight. Oh, absolutely. And it was like people say, well, it was only last week. So is that enough time to 
recover. Well, it was a low key fight. It was a you know it was a, it was a pretty it was all about him getting back to winning ways after the, after uh, Deontay Wilder smashed him in one round. Do you know what I mean? So. Um, but in the Deontay Wilder fight, so people are going to be comparing AJ now with Wilder. But in the Deontay Wilder fight, like I say, he takes the fight to you. And he took the fight to Wilder. Wilder clipped him. And we know what happens when Wilder clips you. That's what happens. He took the fight to Wilder, but it wasn't educated pressure. He just went out there and he was trying to, like, you know, trying to press him, trying to bully him. And he paid the price. So I don't read too much into that. Do you know what I mean? Anyone that Wilder hits like that is going to go to sleep. So... Um, yeah, I don't read too much into it. So, so I think it's a good opponent for AJ. I was going to say, do you think that it, that it could be guilty of people trying to compare? So say if AJ, I oh know it's hard to get him out in the first round, do you know what I mean? But if AJ don't do that, or say AJ might go 10, 11, 12 rounds of him, people are going to be like, oh, well, you know, Wilder done him in a round. So that is it. do you think it's, there's, there's, it could be guilty of that? Listen, I want to see AJ, like, I think if the fight goes 11, 10, 10, 10 rounds or something like that, if the fight goes like that or goes the distance, then... Yeah, people are going to be disappointed. AJ's going to be disappointed. I think this is all about AJ rediscovering that fire, that rediscovering that, that, that rawness that he, he once had, do you know what I mean? But now he's got more experience, so he can be educated. Go phase one, go phase two. Put the shots together. Don't just throw one, twos. One, two, three, four, and then go again. That's the AJ that we know. That's the AJ that flattened Dillian, Dillian White back in 2015. That AJ is what we need to see again, and then he puts himself right back up in the mix. 100%. Well, we'll touch on another subject. Uh, I know you're a talk sport employee, and we saw Eddie Hearn go on there with yeah. Simon Jordan. What are your sort of thoughts on, on everything? Do you know what? I was sitting at home watching it, and I enjoyed it, mate. I enjoyed it. Look, they both make their points. Um, and I thought, they, you know, you've got two huge egos there, mate, and they were both going at each other, talking over each other a little bit too much. Um, and, yeah, I, look, I enjoyed it. I think they both made their points, and they both, you know, they, they both stood their ground as they did. And, um, yeah. It's just, it, it was enjoyable radio. 100%. Another thing I wanted to ask you, it's never been something that's been accused by yourself, but AJ's always sort of made accusations of talk sport being yeah. a sort of a bias against him. So I know it's nothing, you've always been pro AJ, but how do you sort of make those comments when AJ says things like that? Yeah, I understand it. You know what I mean? He's taken a lot of criticism, but you know, I just think for, from AJ's point of view, I'd say don't listen to it, mate, because that's what happens when you reach the top. People are always looking to criticise, and he has taken a lot of shit from various um, various people on TalkSport. I understand that, but I dig the flag in the sand, mate. I'm an AJ fan, as, it, as everyone knows, and I'll continue to support him, and I still believe that he can get back to where he needs to get to. So, um, yeah, look, criticism, that's part of the territory. You know, it comes with what he does. You know what I mean? People have got an opinion, and they're entitled to their opinion. Just block it out and get on with it, and that's why I think that, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Spencer, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And it's uh, always good to chat to you, mate. So yeah, definitely nice good, man. Top, man. Thank